EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the San Francisco 49ers. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give them 15 yards to start their first drive of the game. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Back to throw. Williams. And his throw is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now a second and ten. Throwing again. Williams. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. They get five, and it will go ahead and move the chains. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Here's a second and five. They'll look to throw again. Quick hitter here. It's complete. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Moore, the man in motion. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. First down, and they go with Swift again. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clock. Touchdown, Bears! D.J. Moore, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. They got to love that. Nine-play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc.
Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 33 yards that time. Usually in this spot, you'd hear an offensive coordinator saying, don't feel like you've got to get this all back at once. But here, they give up the opening touchdown and say, no time like the present to show what we can do too. And that's big yardage on their initial play from scrimmage. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another first down, this time on a gain of 19. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Purdy to throw it on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Here's second and 10. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Third down and six. Purdy now to throw. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Montez Sweat, the man that time to fight in and drop him. And that sack there, that likely brings out the field goal unit, so they might have to settle for three here on their opening drive. They did some nice things, getting things started there, moving the ball downfield, but taking that sack on third down, that lets the air out of the momentum balloon just a little bit. And this one is right down Broadway. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. They go back to the ground, this time swift. Four yards the pickup, first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Once again, it's Swift. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Second and seven. 
Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense, and now they get to turn it back to their offense. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Play action. Now Purdy. Through the middle of the field and finally brought down at the 34-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. On first down, this is McCaffrey. They'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it, brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you he did that very well you praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball took a great angle right there the throwing here purdy into a double team and it's intercepted picked up by tremaine edmonds the linebacker williams now Throwing to start the drive. That pass complete to Moore. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. But I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Now Williams on first down. That's complete right side to commit. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll bring up second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch. Especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. On second down, Swift. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always... Got his man, and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. Gerald Everett, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears are able to stretch out their lead. 
There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game. so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm about to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. On third down, it's Purdy. That's complete out left to Ayuk. And I don't think he got there, no. She's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, it wasn't a big strike. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Throwing to start the drive. Williams looking left side. That's caught by Moore. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. Williams looking to throw on second down. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Here's Williams, throwing on first down. A throw left side taken in by Komet. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Back to throw again. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Let's see who's faster. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. 
And that'll get them the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the right side, and he's got more complete. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 17, here's second and seven. Looking to throw, Williams. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. That is Nick Bosa from out on the edge who worked his way in for the sack. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will do it for this first half. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Second and five. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Purdy bootlegging it. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 
And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Williams now on first and 10. Over the middle, complete. That's more. And he'll get this to the 22. So they began the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. Well, they obviously read man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, what, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro, yeah, bro. he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Williams' throw complete here to commit. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 66 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. Now Williams on first down. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 31-yard line. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. On first and 10, it's Swift. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. From the 29, here's second down and seven. Off the play fake, Williams. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 17-yard line. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. And a first down on that last catch as well. Here's a quick throw caught by Allen. And that's good for a gain of six. And it'll be second down. Back to the running game with Swift. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Here is third down and four. Operating from the gun, Williams. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to a safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. On is Santos for the Bears' field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. 
So just three points there, but that important in the grand scheme of things because it's now a three-score lead. And to now, the other guys haven't shown that they can do anything offensively, so just take the points, keep adding that cushion, and let your defense win you the football game. After the made field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. They'll give him four yards there, and that will bring up second down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him, and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. So first and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw, Purdy. Back to Debo Samuel for consecutive catches. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Niners are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Jake Moody now for the point after. It's up, it's good. That'll make the score line 20-10. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. Valus Jones now from his end zone. 
And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They've been pretty anemic on this side of the football in the second half, just three points, and you just saw the touchdown go the other way. So it's a two-score game. We're not done here yet. I think everyone's on the edge of their seats now because they're anticipating what's coming, and I sense that everyone in the stadium knows they need to keep it on the ground. So if you're going to do that, hope the quarterback is stretched a little bit. Some bootlegs, right? <laughs> some fakes inside, getting out to the perimeter. Those might be open for him. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age, but then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football. And getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't yeah, it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. They'll look to throw again. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. <laughs> Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. This is Swift on the counter. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. It's second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 28. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Williams. A little short pass. This is Everett, and he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Williams, off play action. This is caught. Touchdown. DJ Moore, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. All him throwing the football, he's in cruise control right now, and so is his team. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. 
A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Purdy's throw complete there to Thomas. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. On first down, Purdy. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And quickly, they get to the line. Now Purdy. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 16. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for 7 there, and that'll make it second down. Purdy now to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And the Niners are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed. But that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up a first down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Purdy. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And the Bears are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Swift, and he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the nine-yard line. That's Leonard Floyd with a tackle, a man who used to be with the Chicago Bears. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now they'll fake it there on the jet sweep, and instead, here's Swift. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. 76 yards rushing for him now to this point. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. Third and four. Back to throw. Williams. And it's incomplete. Still throwing to the very end, but now this game is over. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL.